you have a lot of white people that have it also. But you have even more or less black people that have it as well. Because a lot of them died out and a lot of them were killed. And what I, when I'm talking about black folks, I'm including you Native Americans also. So it ain't just you've been left out or anything like that. Yes. Y'all have negative, RH negative blood type as well. A lot of you as well. Especially if you are uh, from the Blackfoot tribe. Okay? Now, back to this RH negative. Let me tell you how it works in a nutshell. Okay? It ain't complicated. 80%, over 80% of the world's population has RH positive blood type. Okay? Only about 6 or 8% of black people around the world has the RH negative blood type. Meaning that the rhesus monkey gene is not present. Okay? It's roughly about 30% or so of white people that have it. Alright? And they swear that they are gods or whatever. Okay? The ones that do have it. A lot of the ones that do have it do run the world. Yes, a lot of them, you know, have positions of power and etc. etc. Okay? And a lot of them have green eyes, blue eyes, or whatever. Now, the difference between RH negative and, and RH positive, if, if a woman that has RH negative blood, gets pregnant by a male, a guy that has RH positive blood, her body will build up antibodies, okay, to attack the fetus, to attack the baby, because her body is rejecting that baby. It sees that as a threat, as a foreign substance, all right? So it goes on attack. So what the doctor has to do in the modern age, these days, what the doctor has to do is give them a shot, okay, to, to neutralize, to eradicate the, the antibodies from attacking the baby. Without that shot, the baby will die, okay? The fetus will die. Whereas if you take somebody, if the dad of, 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 of was RH negative, and the mom was RH negative. There wouldn't be no complications whatsoever. Okay? None whatsoever. The baby will come out healthy and fine. Okay? Under normal conditions. But these days, the doctor tell you it's a disease or whatever. It, 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 it could be anything else except for whatever the fuck it is. Okay? And I'm going to tell you what it is. It's the blood of the gods. Okay? That's what it is. It's the blood of the gods. If, give you an example. I just gave you one, but I'm going to rephrase it. Only a god could get, a goddess could get pregnant by a god, okay, without no complications. Alright? Plain and simple. If, if the daddy has the rhesus monkey gene, okay, he's pregnated the goddess that has the RH negative blood type. That baby won't survive without the shot. Alright? It will not survive without the shot. Whereas if the God impregnates the goddess, no problems whatsoever. I didn't make this up. Okay? I'm not making this shit up. You can go and look, look at it for yourself. Okay? I didn't set the structure. That's just the way it is. If that ain't proof to you enough that the RH negative blood type is the blood of the gods, and I ain't talking about the white folks, okay? I'm not talking about the white folks. I say, yeah, white folks, okay? If it was exclusively to them. But you looking at somebody that's got the RH negative blood type, all right? Looking right at them, 
through your through your monitor, your computer monitor. That's who you looking at. All right, and there's not many of them. There's only two black women I came across in my 30 some plus years that had the Rh negative blood type. They were both O negative. Okay, both O negative. One of them. I talked to the first night I talked to this sister, okay. We we got into a deep discussion, but I ain't you know I'm not talking to her. I didn't talk to her about the shit I talked to, or what I'm talking about right now. I talked about in the other videos because I wanted to see how much she knew. And I asked her if she wanted to have some have some more kids. She said I would like to have some more kids, but I always have complications. When I have children, I have rough pregnancies. That's what she told me. So I asked, I said, "What's your blood type?" She said, "Oh, negative." I said, "That's why you have complications." And I started telling her about the the R the difference between Rh negative and Rh positive blood types and shit that she wondered about for years. She learned it all in, in that night by what I told her. Okay? She thought it was something wrong with her. But it wasn't nothing wrong with her. Nothing whatsoever. The other chick. She ain't had no kids at all. None whatsoever. Pushing 30. No children. Because she thinks she can't have none. I asked her, what's up blood type? O negative. That's the reason why you can't get pregnant. One of the reasons, anyway, and 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 if you tr getting, if, you know, having sex with guys that is Rh positive, you you're not gonna get pregnant. And if you do get pregnant, you are gonna have complications. But the thing about it is this. I've only met two sisters that I know of that had the RH negative blood type. They didn't have no red hair. One of them had green eyes. I will say that. But her eye color changed depending on how, what kind of mood she was in. Okay? But um, both of them were real sweet. Real nice. Okay? But they didn't know, they didn't know how special they was. I tried to tell them how special they was, but they ain't listening to me. They thought I was some kind of fucking nutcase, okay? Because they've been used to treated like shit all their lives, okay? Or either put in the category as being normal, okay? But the thing about it is they never knew how special they was. And probably still don't. That's the sad thing about it. If you black and you don't know your blood type, go get go get checked. All right, go see what blood type you are, because that'll answer a lot of your questions that you might have about certain things that has happened and happening in your life right now. A lot of things will start to make sense to you. Okay. Now, this RH, this RH negative blood type, like I said, it's not exclusive to white folks. Not whatsoever. The Queen of England have RH negative blood type. All the, the royal family do. But that don't mean shit, okay? It doesn't mean nothing. Because the original RH negative blood type originated with the Anunnaki okay it originated with the Anunnaki anybody that's talking about this shit if they don't know their blood type you don't need to listen to them because they don't even know how to what who the fuck they are so how they gonna tell you who you are okay I know who I am I know who I am I know my, my blood type all right I know all about it Chances are that, I, let me give you an example. 
black folks, all black people once had RH negative blood type. All of them. Okay? But like I said, a lot of them died out. Uh, was killed. Killed in war. Killed in, uh, throughout slavery, okay? Like, and I told you, I haven't found a sister. Only two sisters I've met, okay? And they don't know how special they are. I can't, I can't deal with those sisters. So chances are, I won't have any children that will carry my RH negative bloodline, okay? That's why the Queen of England and, and the royal family only interbreed with each other, okay? But they own kind. It don't matter what what kind of pit person, what kind of personality they have, they find out, you have the RH negative blood type? I'm going to marry you. We're going to have a family together. No matter how fucked up the family is, we're going to have a family together because of that blood type. I'm not going to say I disagree with it. But I don't agree with it as well. You know, there's both goods and bads about that. And I'm not just going to have children with any person that has the RH negative blood type. I'm definitely not going to have one with a white woman. I'm going to find a white woman to have, have a child with that has the RH negative blood type. But I want a sister to carry my RH negative child, okay, that we'll have together. So like I said, chances are, they won't, if I have a child, it will be RH positive. Okay? It will be RH positive from now on. And therefore, the RH negative uh, blood won't exist. So all you got to do is do the math. It existed with us first. With black folks. Then it spread on out. And a lot of it died out. Okay? So yes, you looking at somebody that has the RH negative blood type. Which is something you will rarely see in this lifetime. Okay? RH negative blood type, like I said, I am black. I don't have green eyes. I don't have red hair. And I'm not blonde. Okay? Now, moving on to other things. I want to talk more about the Anunnaki. Alright? The Anunnaki were black people. No question about it. I don't understand why a lot of scholars put out lies and disinformation. The Anunnaki could be everything else except for black. Okay? There's a big cover up. A big damn cover up. I want you black folks to know that we are special people. We are special people. We travel the universe. You don't believe me? You, you can stop this video right now, okay? And go to YouTube and key in Apollo Mission. Okay? Apollo, Apollo Mission, black woman, moon pilot. All right? And what you should pull up is video footage of a of a ship that came a ship that supposedly the white scholars say supposedly came from outside this solar system from another universe to here to, to our moon okay this ship was piloted by a black woman and you can see it so you gotta understand the moon don't have oxygen on it. So therefore, there's no oxygen. The body won't decay easily. It probably won't decay at all. All right. You can go and see this sister. All right. You can go and see her right now. Video footage of them shooting the inside of the ship and her laying down. Okay. 
If you don't believe me, go look right now. 